Hello, hello. Well, you asked me to make split pea soup in the Instapot, and I did. This is a super simple, this is a super simple recipe. That's kind of hard to say. I just want you to know that. I've, I've messed this up several times. This is a super simple recipe to throw together. And if you have green split peas on hand, then I'll bet you have everything you need to make this tonight. The first time I made this recipe, I asked Maggie to try it. You know her, she's my picky eater. And guess what? She liked it. I couldn't believe it. I kid you not, she liked it. I would ask her to come in here and tell you herself, but she's not here. She's playing with friends. That's what I get for letting her go outside. All right, let's just jump right into this. I started this soup with three celery stalks chopped up, one large carrot chopped, two really large garlic cloves, really large. These are like Frankenstein large. I don't know where they grow garlic these days. All right, and I threw all that in the iPod because I ran out of room on my cutting board. Then I had a medium onion in the refrigerator I decided to use up, so I roughly chopped that. And then I have two medium to large russet potatoes here, and I just decided to cut those in half. I'm gonna pressure cook this soup for 10 minutes, and 10 minutes is long enough to get all these vegetables tender. Then I threw in a bay leaf and two cups of green split peas. It wouldn't be one of my recipes if it didn't involve liquid smoke. Oh yeah, one teaspoon pecan liquid smoke if you have it. One teaspoon of dried marjoram and one teaspoon of sweet basil. Now the first time I made this recipe, I didn't have either one of those on hand and I used an Italian seasoning blend and that worked too. One teaspoon of salt and a dash of pepper. Just a smidge. And then I covered everything with one inch of water. I just kept pouring, uh, this is actually hot water, I just kept pouring hot water until, until I saw I had about an inch of water standing over the green peas. Just to check, I like to stick my finger in there and touch the top of the ingredients and look, at, there you go, so you see my water line on my finger? I'm good to go. All right, I wanna lock on the lid and turn the steam release handle to sealing. Then I'm gonna use the manual button to turn on the pressure cooking mode, which automatically sets to high pressure, and use the minus key to adjust the cooking time down to 10 minutes. And then I wanna use the 10 minute natural pressure release method before opening the lid. That means I'm gonna wait 10 minutes after it finishes cooking, and then I'm going to turn the steam release handle to let the remaining pressure out of the pot, then I'm gonna take off the lid. That's what that means. All right, it looks pretty ugly. Now, and then I got my immersion blender and I just started pureeing that soup. Now, here's a question. What did I forget to do? Can you guess in this scene what I forgot to do? The experienced cook knows. Post in the comments below. All right, so here's my soup nice and thick oh my gosh it is super thick it's thick like potato soup i'm not sure if split pea soup is supposed to be like this but you know mine is but look what i'm doing oh no oh no she didn't did she yes she did i added a little over a cup of that cheese sauce we're all in love with oh yeah so what look at that oh he's so pretty <gasps> Oh yeah, that makes it rock. That's why Maggie likes it so much because I put the cheese sauce in there. You know, sometimes you just gotta, you know, throw those things in there to entice your family to chow down. There we go, cup of soup. And you like my little Loch Ness ladles? Affiliate link in the show more box below. That is so cute, there you go. Look, and I drizzled a little more smoky cheese sauce on that. Oh, so good. You have got to make this. Super simple. If you've got all the ingredients right now, then go ahead and make it. It won't take very long. All right, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and share it out with your friends. Share it out with all your favorite Instapot Facebook groups, will you? I appreciate that. 
All right, and if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe right now because there's more videos coming. And if you're an Instapot fan, be sure to say woot woot in the comments below. See you later. Bye.